Welcome back. Bet you there's a lot of folks with some sore backs today, uh, considering the fact that we've had to move a lot of snow here in the last 24 hours. Hopefully you had a little help with some plows in locations like Appalachian and Waverly with over 30 inches of snow reported there over the last day and a half or so. Well, we go 30 inches, Spencer 19, Mecklenburg 16 inches, South Corning 15. So again, as you travel a little bit farther to the west, Amount started to drop off a little bit, but still quite impressive with it to get 17 Elmira and Erin and Montour Falls with a foot of snow. Hornell not far behind and Bath coming in at 10 inches. But of course, with the wind, it's been blowing and drifting as well. So um, in some cases you shovel your driveway and then it just kind of drifts over again. And unfortunately, uh, we're going to continue with those blustery conditions out of the northwest with more blowing and drifting tonight. And because of that, the National Weather Service issuing a winter weather advisory in effect through the overnight period, and there's going to be a few more snow showers out there as well with additional accumulations generally in the order of one to three inches. Winds gusting over 30 miles an hour and wind chill values could drop as low as 10 degrees below zero. So the nor'easter well off towards the north and east this evening, but you can see that counterclockwise circulation continuing to pull some moisture off the Great Lakes and uh, we're still left with some flurries and snow showers locally here in the Twin Tiers. In fact, in some instances, some heavier snow showers as we get a little enhancement off the Finger Lakes and you can see some of that from Dryden down through Caroline and Berkshire here in Newark Valley of northern areas of Tioga County areas that got hit very hard with this past storm and then a narrow band coming in uh, towards the Alpine Junction area and south and east of there and then down through portions of the northern tier as well towards uh, Shemung and then Sayre, Ridgeberry and then down towards Shashikwin down 220 towards Tawanda. Some issues with reduced visibility in those snow showers. Temperatures in the 20s right now, but again, you factor in the winds feeling a lot colder than that. 10 above in Elmira, it's feeling like 11 in Danville and zero. That's the current wind chill value in Bradford. So our future track does have some of these snow showers and flurries persisting tonight. Again, most only looking at between one and three additional inches. So not a big deal considering the fact that, you know, some cases uh, looking at almost three feet of snow in the last 24 hours, but just a little bit on top of what we've already gotten. But it's the drifting that will really cause some issues, uh, especially on some of those secondary roads. And uh, that's why some of the schools have decided to uh, delay tomorrow morning You can see that ticking on the bottom of your screen right now. Uh, future track showing more sunshine for tomorrow afternoon and most of Friday looking pretty nice. It's Friday night though into early Saturday. A couple more inches of snow will be possible as another system moves in from the Midwest. But over the next 48 hours, again, not a whole lot of additional snowfall. Some enhancement though just to the south of the Finger Lakes. Forecast 25 today, 23 the unofficial high. 14 for a low tonight with some leftover snow showers, blustery conditions. 28 for tomorrow's five degree guarantee, so still well below average for this time of year. A little warmer with more sunshine. St. Patrick's Day on Friday, Saturday early rain and snow showers. Sunday we're dry. First day of spring on Monday, 40 degrees is what we're forecasting, but not feeling very spring like by the middle of next week. We're forecasting sub freezing temperatures once again. Right. So there you go. <laughs> At least spring is nearby. Officially, it officially starts on Monday. Hopefully, it'll start feeling that way too. Yeah, I have a feeling that uh, groundhog is kind of laughing right now. Probably, and trying to, you know, I don't know where the groundhog is now with all the snow on the ground, but uh, yeah, he's probably laughing just a little bit. All right, Joe. Thanks, Thank Joe. you.